good, y'all. You back with streets, freestyle cooker with streets. Thanks for tuning in. Like always, I hope everybody out there is staying safe and healthy. And of course, y'all already know what it is, man. Got another great recipe to share with y'all. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for coming through, showing me some love. If this your first time on my channel, please hit that subscribe, like, share, and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on my latest recipe video, y'all. Because we get it in here, Freestyle Cooking with Streets, y'all. Let's do it, all right? So today, y'all, is a special day. Y'all going to get a two-for-one recipe, okay? And the reason for that is, you know, sometimes... I'll be ready to share a recipe and end up doing another recipe and I might have the protein or the meat and I might need the uh, and I only have a certain type certain amount of time to cook it so today's recipe I got me some goat cubes and I got me some colossal scallops okay now these are two recipes that I was going to do at two separate times but I never got to uh, doing these recipes so I need to uh, cook the meat okay so it's an unlikely pair, but freestyle cooking with street y'all, we just love cooking. So we just sharing all the love. You feel me? That's how we getting down. So we going. So everybody, we I'm about to get y'all two in one video. That's how we getting it down. All right. So with the gold cubes, right here. This is about uh, two pound of gold cubes. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna make a goat curry, y'all. Okay. We're gonna make a goat curry. Definitely banging recipe. You'll definitely love it. And our scallops, these, and, and I had to buy these scallops the other day. This is, you know, look how big these are, y'all. Colossal scallops. You feel me? Had to buy them. They look so good. So we're going to sous vide these, y'all. So we're going to do a sous vide scallops recipe. All right? So we're going to do our goat curry or curry goat recipe. And we're going to do um, a sous vide scallops recipe. Alright, real easy. Both recipes are real simple. Take no time. Like I said, we pair things however we want on this um, channel. So, try the recipes out, y'all. Alright, so let's get it in. Let's do it. So, I went ahead and I put my scallops in the refrigerator because when we sous vide the scallops, they will not take no time at all. Okay, once we dip them in a hot water bath, you know 25 30 minutes they're ready to go okay my go cues i had put them in a um i got them cleaned up ready to go rinsed off dried i did a salt brine where i just put salt all over them and let it sit for about an hour so you could do that you know get your meat nice and tender that's what the salt will help it do rinse it off it's ready to go okay so we got that ready all right and also i got here some i got some tomatoes i had uh, a whole beef tomato in the refrigerator that wasn't used so I chopped it up uh, you could use um, diced tomatoes in a can if you want I also got some uh, peppers here I got me uh, you know my sweet brown peppers some po a poblano pepper and you know just chopped up you could use red pepper green pepper whatever kind of peppers you like this is what I had but you can use whatever kind of peppers red green yellow you ready to go right here i got me some chopped carrots and celery i got some chopped shallots all right and this is just some leftover um peppers you know got a little bit of red peppers in there a little, little just something i had uh in a freezer bag left over but we'll use that with our um scallops okay all right y'all and next i want to get out my pan all right got my pan out because we want to put a nice good sear on the go cubes y'all that's gonna keep all the juices in put a nice little sear on it you know to get this thing started all right so we're gonna go ahead got my stainless steel pan i want to get it real hot you know whenever you sear on something you know you want it real hot because you're not going to sear it for too long okay i also got me some uh some sunflower oil i always like to use a high heat point oil you can use uh like canola oil if you don't have a high heat point oil canola can hold heat pretty well you know or you know you could use uh whatever oil you have because like i said you're only going to sear it for a few minutes but you know it might be a little smoke but 
trust me that's okay because it's a nice quick steer you want it real hot okay so we're gonna let this heat up all right y'all as you can see my pan is nice and hot okay now right before I get the gold cubes in there I'm gonna go ahead and turn it down to a medium high for just a second and I'm gonna put about two tablespoons two teaspoons I'm sorry of some hot curry hot curry powder you can use regular curry powder if you if you like and I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up in, in with the oil y'all okay get that mixed in with the oil and I'm gonna go ahead and drop my cubes in and you can get the curry powder right in your local market different brands I like the hot curry powder I'm going to go ahead and turn this back up to high so we get a nice good sear on it, okay? And I just wanted to infuse that curry flavor in with the oil just to give our, our cubes a little bit of that, that curry flavor. And as soon as you get a nice color on your cubes, we're going to take it out, okay? Okay, y'all, there we go. I got my cubes up out the pan. As you can see, I got me some nice color on them. That's what we want. Only took about three minutes. You know, real fast, man. High sear. So now I'm going to go ahead and get my carrots in there. We're going to bring it down to a medium high. All right, and we're going to go ahead and just get these stirred up. All right, so we're going to stir these up for about two minutes. I done chopped my carrots up nice and small so that it wouldn't take so long for them to cook through. But I throw them in the pan first because, you know, carrots will take longer to cook than the rest of my veggies. So, All Okay, y'all, for about three minutes. Now I want to get my shallots in there. All right, and there's one more thing I want to do, y'all. I want to also, that I forgot to prep, I want to go ahead and put some fresh garlic up in there, y'all. So I got about two cloves right here real quick. I'm going to chop them up. I don't have to be real fine, just, you know, chop them up. We want to get that garlic flavor popping in there. We want to add that. So on your prep, Make sure you got a couple of garlic cloves, maybe you know, two or three. Okay, I'm gonna also add that in. All right, there we go. And I'm gonna just continue to stir. For about another two minutes. All right. After a couple of minutes, and now I'm gonna go ahead and add about two tablespoons of tomato paste. Okay. Just want to get my tomato paste all incorporated in. Okay. Now next, we're gonna add some now. This is my special flow going on. Normally at this point you want to have some beef stock uh, ready to go or maybe some vegetable stock ready to go. Okay. But y'all got me some right here. I got me some homemade seafood stock. Oh yeah. This is going to add a real crazy flavor to our curry y'all. You know it's going to kick it up a notch. You feel me? But, you know, and normally you'll see a curry recipe that, like I said, that either uses a vegetable stock, a beef stock, maybe even chicken stock, or water. But y'all, I'm going to add my, my, my seafood stock, man. I made this, it was so, you know, so good, and it's going to add just a different 
a different dynamic, a different twist on this curry goop. Alright. So I'm gonna go ahead and add about two cups. And at the same time, it'll get all those bits and pieces off the bottom of the pan. Okay, so next, I'm going to go ahead and add some dry thyme. Okay, about a teaspoon. And I'm going to also add another teaspoon of my curry my curry powder get that incorporated in next I'm gonna go ahead and add some salt all right about a teaspoon of salt y'all about a teaspoon of pepper Get that all mixed in. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add my tomatoes and peppers. Okay, and I want I'm going to bring this to a quick boil for about three minutes and then we want to get our goat cubes back up in here all right y'all we didn't let this boil real quick for a few minutes now i want to go ahead and get my uh cubes back in there Now once I got my cubes in there y'all, I'm going to go ahead and add some more curry. Alright. And maybe it's about a couple of teaspoons, but just enough to carry the cubes that I have. This is about a two pound bag that I got out of my market. You know, usually they come in like a two pound bag where you can go to your butcher and, and you know, you know, get it, you know, however much you want. But this is about a two pound bag. But I'm going to put enough curry in here just to cover okay I'm gonna go ahead and incorporate this in okay y'all once I got it all once I got my cubes incorporated in with the sauce I'm gonna add about another cup of water I'm gonna add a cup of water y'all Okay, and now I'm going to turn this down to a medium low, and we're going to let this simmer. We're going to cover it up and let it simmer for about an hour and a half, y'all. All right, real easy recipe, y'all. Real easy, real easy, you know, you know, goat curry recipe. All right, so we're going to go ahead and let it simmer for about an hour and a half. And then I'll come back to y'all. Let's do it. Okay, y'all. It's about a half hour left for my curry goat. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and start to get my scallops prepped. I also got here, which is optional, some potatoes. Okay, I done cut up some potatoes. I'm going to add this to my curry. All right, that's optional if y'all want to do it. You know, you want to wait till you get about to the last 30, 35 minutes. While it's still simmering and get those in there, alright? So I'm gonna go ahead and get those in there and we're gonna prep our scallops. Let's do it! Alright, time to get the scallops prepped. I went ahead and I got me some butter, you know, 
cut up a couple knobs of butter got a couple slices of lemon real easy season it on up some salt And these are some nice size scallops, y'all. I mean, these are the sign said colossal. I, I I usually see big scallops, but man, these was like it's a couple of small ones in there because that was with the batch. But these are pretty big, y'all. Okay, put some pepper on top of there. there we go. Ooh, and I'm also gonna add some of my seafood seasoning, my Creole blend. Alright, you don't have this, the salt and pepper is just fine. Okay, so we get that moving to the side. Alright, so I got my vacuum seal bag. We're gonna get up, and you want to keep your scallops separate. You don't want to bunch them together. You know what I'm saying? You don't want them close together. Alright. Let's get them in there, y'all. Put one of this little one on the end of there. Okay. I'm gonna put a couple knobs of butter in there. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and add my lemon slices. Okay. Get my next row. y'all and I'm gonna also add I got a nice big spray uh, rosemary all right so let's get this oh wait hold up y'all let me add my butter I'm tripping butter all right I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum seal this on up vacuum sealer let's get it Yo, wait, wait, wait. And another thing, before I forget, I'm, I'm moving too fast, y'all. It must be me moving too fast, man. I'm gonna get, I got some smashed garlic. I'm gonna get that in there, too. Alright, get my smashed garlic up in there. Alright, and next I want to add some olive oil. Alright, goes. Go. Alright, so next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and seal this on up. Boom, and there we go, y'all. Ready to go. Let's get our water bath ready. Alright, y'all, so next, I got my pot out. Got my sous vide cooker ready to go, okay? Now... You want to set your temp to about 135. That's the perfect temp for scallops. That'll have them nice, firm, cooked all the way through. And once we take them out, we're going to do a real quick sear on them. You feel me? Trust me, y'all. Takes no time. Scallops is going to be banging. All right? So we want to wait till this come up to temp. It's about at 92 now because... All right, y'all. Now that my... Water has come to temp. We're gonna go ahead. And I'm gonna go ahead and clip this to the pan. I mean to the pot. Clip it to the pot, and boom. We're gonna go ahead on 135 degrees, 35 minutes, y'all. Okay. We're gonna give it a quick sear. Now, uh, this is around a time where your curry should be almost done so what you want to do is while you're sous vide the uh scallops i'm gonna go ahead and turn the curry down and just keep it on a uh, like a medium low and just let it simmer on out until my scallops are done it's not gonna hurt anything you know a little longer you know we want to stay in between the one hour to two hour range whenever you you know braising meat okay so be cool we got it going Turn your curry down, okay? And we're gonna wait for these scallops. Let's do it! All right, y'all. 35 minutes is up. 
Let's take our scallops up out the water bath. Oh yeah, y'all. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. The juices is definitely flowing. The melted butter, the lemon. Oh yeah, y'all. Alright. Let me get that to the side. Let's get my pan out. Alright, y'all. Got my scallops up out of the bag. Got them patted to dry. Now let me get my skillet out. Let's get a quick sear on them. And we there, y'all. Let's do it. All right, y'all, here we go. Got the skillet smoking hot. We're going to sear these just for like 30 seconds. Real quick, y'all, real quick sear. Okay? So you want your pan nice and hot. Let's go. You just want to get a little bit of color on the other, on the side, on, on, on each side. Because they are already cooked through. All right? A little smoke, but yo, trust me, we want these seared right. That's what we do. All right, all right, y'all. Went ahead and did one flip, looking so good with the color. All right, let's do it a few seconds on this side. We done. And there we go, y'all. Our scallops are ready. I done plated them on up. And like I said, this is where you might want to, you know, serve these as an appetizer to your curry dinner, your curry goat dinner. But yeah, there we go, y'all. Here we go. Looking real good, y'all. I, now I garnished them with those leftover peppers that I had that was chopped up with some microgreens. Got a little aioli sauce on there. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. All right, so let's get to our curry. All right, y'all, there we go. I done plated up the curry. Look at that. You got the potatoes. I told you the potatoes are optional, but you might want to go ahead and put the potatoes in there. We got the goat nice and tender on top of some rice. Oh, yeah, y'all. This is what I'm talking about. All right. So y'all already know what it is. It's that time. It's that time for me to go in on this, man. You feel me? Just had to share this with y'all, man. Get y'all the two-in-one. Had to get the uh, protein cooked. I had to get it done. So please subscribe, like, share. Hit that notification bell. You know what I mean? So y'all can keep up with all the videos. Comment, man. Holla at me. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what y'all think. Let me know if y'all tried it. You know, let me know what's good, man. Talk to me. Alright? And I appreciate y'all watching, man. Appreciate the love. Thanks, man. You know. And y'all already know how I'm going to do. Holla.